Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video I want to show you a new electronic focuser that I randomly found on the internet. It seems to perform exactly the same as ZWO electronic focuser with, uh, it seems only one catch, that this guy is almost three times lower in price than ZWO. So here is Gemini Aromatic Star Focuser Pro. In this video, let's take a closer look at this focuser. I'm going to show you what you get in the packaging box just for 75 US dollars compared to 200 US dollars when getting ZWO. Uh, we'll install this focuser on one of my telescopes, see how it performs, and basically, yep, we'll take a closer look at it. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. All right, guys, so let's unbox this Gemini electronic automatic focuser. This is how packaging box looks like. Uh, as you see on top, we have the name of the brand, uh, electronic automatic focuser. Uh, that part I want to pay attention to, that it's really interesting. Uh, some of the parts of the manual instruction already listed uh, here. You can just pause this video for a second and uh, check out yourself what it says here. And um, on this part, there are a couple of QR codes. The first one is going to lead you to software and description of this focuser. And the other one is the QR code of the Facebook group. And basically, then it's all um, about any additional like, labels on the box and stuff. And um, like inside the box, we see the USB cable right away, pretty long one and the USB type B is angled. Then we have temperature sensor, a remote control that is uh, controlled through infrared port over there. All right, what else? Uh, key, the mounting shoe. There are a few all right, there are a few knobs and my guess they were supposed to be there, <laughs> but they just lie separately. So four nuts, only three washers. I think there gotta be one more, yeah, right there. So yeah, we got four washers and four nuts over there. Then we have the focuser itself and we got three adapters with different hole diameter, I guess. Okay, uh, so that's all you get in the box. Now let's take a look at the focuser. What I can say right away about this focuser is that it seemed to be much lighter than the ZWO version. So we also got two nuts right here installed on the focuser right away. We got a USB port. Let's take a closer look. Yep. So we got a USB port, a temperature port, and a hand controller uh, port over there. That's the name of the brand, Gemini Automatic Star Focuser Pro. Hmm. So if it's a pro version, I mean, they're supposed to have a regular version, I don't know. But yeah, this is how this focuser looks like. Now, uh, what I want to do is to compare this focuser to ZWO's version. So let's make a head-to-head -head comparison. And I have a ZWO focuser right there. So that's how they look next to each other. It seemed to me that the position of these holes for the mounting shoe is exactly the same in terms of distance from each other. And uh, my guess that the thread size should be the same. Yeah, so the thread sizes are the same. Now, uh, the Gemini focuser, as you can see, it is wider than ZWO's version. In terms of length, they have exactly the same length over there. This is how their back look like. So pretty much ZWO's version is more narrow than Gemini. 
but it is heavier than Gemini. That's interesting. And I have a scale over there. So let's compare the weight of this two. 282 grams, that's the weight of CWO Focuser. Yep, 193 grams is the weight of the Focuser from Gemini. So once again, 192 is this Focuser and uh, almost uh, 90 grams more is the uh, CWO version. Uh, let's take a look at the mounting shoes. Uh, this is the mounting shoe from Gemini. And this is the mounting shoe from ZWO. Now, they look almost identical. Once again, this one is Gemini, this one is ZWO. So these parts, they're identical, but the part on the left, I see that the Gemini, they decided to give you more space in terms of adjusting the position of uh, the electronic focuser of this part. That's actually nice. So what I also noticed in difference between the Gemini focuser and the ZWO focuser is the form of this shaft. So in ZWO it has a cylinder form with a flat side over there. So basically when you install the uh, adapter between the focuser of the telescope and the electronic focuser, uh, one of the sides is flat, so the connection is more, like, so the, so the connection is better. And in Gemini Focuser, both of the sides are flat, like 180 degrees apart, they're flat. But all the adapters that came with the Gemini Focuser, as you see the position of the uh, fixation screws over there, it's not 180 degrees. So it kind of doesn't make a sense to me that like if you do it flat on both sides, it kind of would make sense then if you'd have hole uh, on one side and 180 degrees here. But nope, uh, the form of these connection parts is exactly the same as on ZWO. My guess is that because those are produced at the same factory as for ZWO, but um, yeah, that would make more sense if you do um, the holes with threads uh, on uh, this side and on the bottom side over here rather than uh, just copying ZWO version. I mean, it's really hard to complain about the thing that costs $75, but it's something uh, that I noticed and wanted to share with you guys. So that's how they look compared to each other. And let's install this focuser on top of one of my telescopes and connect it to Nina, see how it actually works, guys. But before going to the installation part, I want to briefly kind of explain you how I found out about this focuser. I was on the AliExpress store, I was looking for a new mini PC. What I noticed is that on the AliExpress there are more brands that offer different mini PC, like body styles, design styles, and I was in look for a new mini PC. And uh, on the list of the suggested items, I found uh, basically this electronic focuser. Uh, I was surprised by the price, 75 US dollars, opened the product page right away and uh, yep, saw myself that uh, they sell this electronic focuser for like $74.99 uh, or something like that. And uh, there are different links to this product on the AliExpress and pretty much you can find different price range somewhere from like 69 to 80 US dollars. It all depends on the complication that you get. Uh, this one, as I said, I got for 75 US dollars and uh, I got the electronic focuser, the temperature probe and uh, the remote control. Also, before getting this electronic focuser, I started uh, Googling some more information about it. And uh, like it was like a week and a half ago, I didn't find anything about uh, this electronic focuser. They don't have a website. They, don't, they basically just, I think they just started uh, the business. And uh, what I found is that if you open the product page to this electronic focuser, go down, uh, basically you'll find a link to a cloud with drivers for this focuser. And there also will be a link with uh, a Facebook group. For some reason, the Facebook group is private at the moment and uh, there are 20 members at the time of filming this video. I sent the request to join this group on Facebook. So I'm waiting for a uh, response at the moment. And um, also on the product page, you can find 
an email with, uh, I think it's like a support for this focuser. So if you have any questions, you can send uh, an email uh, there and uh, basically get the response before uh, getting the focuser. Or if you already have this focuser and you need a support, my guess that you can just send an email at the moment or join the Facebook group. But yeah, that's how I found out about this focuser and uh, let's go back to the installation part. All right, and since uh, this guy is almost exactly the same as ZWO version, I decided to keep this uh, adapter from ZWO and uh, let's install the electronic focuser. All right, so electronic focuser is installed. Uh, let's plug it in. What I actually like about this focuser is that it has, uh, the, I mean, the color of the body is black. I like it because we've had lots of red lately and uh, the black electronic focuser, it's something new, <laughs> just a new look. All right, I think you just heard this beep, so that's interesting, ZW doesn't do it, but uh, when you plug in this electronic focuser, it actually makes a beep, kind of confirming that it's connected. And uh, what I'm going to do now is to power the mini PC, we'll uh, connect to it, install drivers and see if it actually works. All right, so I'm connected to my mini PC remotely at the moment. And uh, let's go to this product page on the AliExpress and I'm going to show you how to install drivers. But before doing this, I want to quickly yeah, show you that that's the version that I purchased with the remote control. They also sell version, it says standard delivery. Uh, it's without the remote control, but you still get the temperature sensor. The thing is, uh, I purchased this electronic focuser a week and a half ago. No, one second. I purchased it on June 30th. It actually was almost a week, like, <laughs> it's like eight days ago. Uh, I purchased this focuser and it was delivered from, to me exactly in a week because I received the package on uh, July 7th. So it took a week to get this electronic focuser from China. And at the moment of purchasing it, they did not have standard delivery. They only had version with the remote control. Now it's the opposite situation. Now they have this version. But yeah, the point is you can get any of the versions uh, anytime at the moment, that's my guess. And finally, let's go to the link where you can download the drivers. And you need to scroll down until you see software download section where you can uh, download drivers. You can send an email to my guest, that's the owner of the company, and you have a Facebook link over there. Uh, that's the link to OneDrive. Uh, there are two folders and at this part I found out that uh, this company also working on a flat panel. I did not find one at the AliExpress at the moment. Maybe there will be one. But we need to go to Electronic Focuser folder. We need to download uh, Ascom Driver and uh, uh, there are two versions, uh, Chinese and English version of the native software. Uh, we're definitely going to need to download um, English version. But the point is, I'm going to test uh, this electronic focuser first with the native software. And if it works, I'm going to go straight to Nina then. So I already installed the driver for this focuser. And now let's actually try to connect to uh, this focuser. And uh, yes, um, this is how Gemini Focuser Pro software looks like. Uh, you need to pick the appropriate COM port for the electronic focuser. In my case, I already know that this is COM port 11. And let's try to connect to it. Please wait two seconds. And uh, yep, it seemed to me that we connected to the focuser. Uh, in the native software, we can change the motor speed from slow to fast. Uh, they can adjust the amount of maximum steps, the current position and uh, there are different uh, ways how you can adjust the position of the focuser. So the point is it seems to me that everything is working fine and let's go 
straight to Nina, where we'll see if this focuser works or not. All right, so we're in Nina and let's go to focuser folder. And uh, as you can see, the Gemini Focuser Pro is already recognized by Nina. Let's see if we can connect there. I think everything should be fine. And yes, we connected. Uh, it says that the current target position is 5000. Uh, for some reason it's reading the temperature, but I did not connect the temperature sensor at the moment. And, and to be honest, I don't think I want to test out the temperature sensor yet, because the point of this video is briefly introduce you to the electronic focuser itself. So yeah, if uh, you want me to cover this part, I'll do it in my maybe one of the future videos. But yeah, we're looking at the focuser itself. And let's finally try to adjust the position of the motor. Um, just for you to see it better, let's go ahead and switch the position to, say, 6500. All right, and as you can see, yep, this electronic focuser actually works and uh, it's changing the position of the focuser right now. And can you believe it only costs $75? Okay, and let's go back to its original position, 5000. Nice. Yeah, it seemed to be working. So what I wish I can do in this video is to show you how this electronic focuser works like actually on the night sky. But the problem is that I'm filming this video on Monday, July 8th. And uh, based on the forecast, I will have the closest opportunity to test out this electronic focuser on the night sky, possibly Saturday, unless the forecast changes and I will have clear skies any day earlier. But yep, as we can see that it's working, it changes the position. And lastly, what I want to show you guys is that while I was filming this video, my request to join this uh, Facebook group was approved. Uh, there are not a lot of posts. Uh, the group itself was actually created um, on... Uh, 10, 10 weeks ago, so it's relatively new group. While checking out the group, I uh, noticed two pieces of information about this electronic focuser. So the first one, one of the users asked how much weight can Gemini electronic focuser hold? And uh, that's guy, the admin of the group, I think that's the Chan, uh, he responds that it can hold five kilograms. So that's little more information about the focuser and in this post I discovered some information about steps for this Gemini focuser so one of the users Christopher he mentions that uh, like I've been reading users of the Gemini and uh, basically they say that Gemini is at 3800 compared to over 5700 for the DWO focuser so the resolution to achieve accurate focusing is less good for Gemini compared to the ZWO and uh, the Chan replies that yes Gemini has 3840 steps compared to ZWO that has 5800 steps but as Chan says in actual use the feedback they receive from China is better than ZWO because in actual shooting stability is more important than steps segmentation well, I really wish now that I have Clear Skies SAP to test this focuser out and see how it actually performs. But yeah, these are two pieces of information about the electronic focuser that I found. Alright guys, this is all I got for today's video about a new electronic focuser from Gemini. Uh, let me know what you think about this focuser in the comment section below. And if there are any users of Gemini watching this video, welcome to the comment section for the discussion about this electronic focuser. Please share your user experience, guys. In the meanwhile, I'll be waiting for clear skies to do some actual tests on the night sky and make a follow-up video about this electronic focuser. In the description to this video, you can find a link to this focuser to the same seller basically on AliExpress where I got it in case you want to purchase it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video until very end. Stay tuned for updates and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'll see you in the future videos and until next time, clear skies.